all right hello everyone so basically I'm doing Facebook live right now I may upload this to YouTube if you're watching from YouTube welcome as well okay uh, the links are under this video if you want to join my group or join contact me on Facebook anyways um, I'm just waiting for Facebook friends a group to come online let me just share the video link so everyone can join us in the group as well and and my telegram group as well <coughs> so guys basically in this this live was a requested live I did a video on my channel in Hindi my channel is in Hindi Urdu I was requested live my computer gets slower when whenever I go live whenever I go live it just gets very slow because I have too many tabs opened as well you know just give me a second let me just share this and then we'll jump in and uh, see the technical analysis and what do I think I was possible and what's not I want you I want you to tell me as well okay it's not just me I want to see what you think all right um, let me just share this here we go it's Facebook always very slow very slow for me it's always been <clears throat> anyways it's shared let me share here as well okay all right so that's done so basically I was looking this chart I've been I've been sharing um, from days now okay we've been we've been holding this uh, this trend line the blue one once okay second day third day fourth day fifth sixth seventh eighth eight days we've been holding this trend it just couldn't do it I mean this was a uh, Christmas days holidays this part the volume was super low and then we had two selling days one we had not enough volume okay this wasn't enough volume but this was uh, the next day of Christmas yeah 26th okay this was 26th the pump we had and there was a fake out that um, this was a huge resistance I saw my BTC at 16,400 but what I did is I, I really bought it here I should have just wait um, it's a lesson I learned again um, even I learned that before in the past as well so basically uh, after that this resistance this is a fib level um, uh, 236 okay couldn't cross that at first we came close to it after a big bounce uh, from here the next day big bounce we came here and uh, basically we had a retracement and again test of this trend so we tested this trend again and we went up again and then keep testing this and finally we broke out from here and I thought all right we may going for bigger breakout and find a new high but that didn't happen so what actually happened is is we face a resistance here again I mean uh, we had a fake out like a, a, a disaster I mean it, it wasn't a good at all um, I, I was I was just waiting I thought I said okay we fail again once hopefully we're gonna cross here from this as soon as we crossed it was looking very bullish after that it was pretty bullish and we could have seen um, a double top or we could have seen uh, the reason this pumped is because we had a fork the Bitcoin fork and it was a bit hyped up and it was the next day of Christmas as well so people start buying and all that and after that um, as we had dipped and this was a dip it, it was a fake out again it went out it went up again but we close above uh, 3 3 at 2 fib level and again next day we close the doji I thought okay we may break out up but suddenly what happened is it, it just will break down I didn't sell because um I was waiting I was waiting to see a confirmation because we seen fake outs one two so many fake outs at first I sold here because my trend line was a bit above here but then it was here because of this I, I ignored this um, this week and we had a fake out here 
and I sold at the fake out and it just went up you can see there so then I decided to put here and follow this okay so after that we broke this and right now uh, we, we got support here that this is a very strong area again this is a 0 5 a fib level this fib level is from the start of the pump 5500 to the peak okay from here to there okay we, we are right now a very strong fib level is 0.5 the 50 percent and the other side from here to this um this bottom i have a, another fib that is 0.236 percent at this level okay guys i'll come back to comments a bit later let me just explain this so whoever is going to rewatch it i don't want anyone to listen to me reading the comments first first i want to get to the point and then i'll read the comments so basically uh, if you're just joining you can rewatch it after it's finished so after that what i was saying yeah and there's a fib level here here and there's another support area is let me just share because um i have free trading view i use uh koinigi the most i paid there because i don't want to pay in both i use only coinbase um uh, sorry rare trading view for bitcoin and we have 50 ma here and last time we got support for 50 ma as well so we have one here as well so we had three different um support areas and i and it, it got really good support from the here this shows this, this this is a very strong zone okay and i'm really expecting a bounce at least to test this uh, resistance here that's um peak of this the previous candle yesterday candle i mean this blue line so i'm expecting at least a 13 uh 30 13900 and we have 0 0.38 to fib level here as well so it's at uh, almost 14000 so what I will be doing is I will be selling at 13,900 the most and then I'll see the thing is uh, one I'll be rebuying if it cross 16,000 uh, 14,600 that's actually 5% loss that I will be taking 16,500 cross that and close above it daily candle okay close above the daily candle or when it comes down I will be looking for double top uh, sorry double bottom here double bottom because from double bottom is around 10,000 10,000 is a it's just a very strong area right now because of that and because of uh, having 100 MA here at daily 100 MA daily been very strong in the past and we had bounce from uh, here from 100 MA as well I'm sorry 50 but 100 MA is at around 9,000 here by EMA is around uh, 10,000 so 10 to 9,000 but I will be buying around um, below 11 to 10,000 so this area and I will be looking for at least 30% um, bounce 20 to 30% bounce from here to up there and it will make me decent profit as well and um, I will see what to do next because we may have a start we may start rally from there as well uh, it's just matter of time to see um, and follow the pattern until we don't break this 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 downtrend line this red line I don't think so I should be going out um, buying it again rebuying because this is must for confirmation that we're going for uh, next uptrend okay because um, I seen the failures I seen the failure here whenever we see fake outs it just sucks you need to wait for a daily candle to close and daily candle will retest the support okay if it close here for example if that would have closed up here it would have tested again at least once it would have tested again this part at least once to see the support okay sometime a lower time frame we see a fake hours and uh, and even they close up up there break the trend and close up there but still they come back because there is not enough support there yeah that's it I want to share and the volume is not great um, I've been watching um, this dump the volume didn't seem too good I mean it, it's been huge selling it's been huge uh, selling zone um, I was doing a video that's why you see so many circles I was doing a video as I said mentioned before and that's why you see that many and we had a recently a double top here <coughs> 
so far uh, we're looking all right well i'm expecting to cross 13500 if we cross that we're gonna test this um around 13900 to 14400 plus but uh, crossing 14600 won't be easy task for bitcoin i mean crossing and closing up there but the thing is right now is 5 5 a.m almost 6 a.m here and um of course i need to sleep <laughs> and that's the thing um i don't want to just put orders there and expect it's going to be sale because the market may dump up by few dollars or whatever happens i'm not sure so that's the uh, thing right now for me because gdex won't let me sell in, uh, in dollars and um, it shows me the euros and the prices are of course different uh, I, I need to see but I wanted to share with you guys um, that what you, what's my strategy of what you can do because so there are so many supports here and 9 MA at daily comes here around 14,400 um, 1 hour 100 MA uh, 4 hour 50 MA I mean there's a lot of support area at um, around 14,000 to 14,500 that's what my stop loss to buy stop um, yeah, stop buy limit buy whatever you want to call it it will be above 14,600 because um, it won't be easy to uh, for Bitcoin to cross that area unless there is a huge news or something like crazy and then I will be expecting a, a decent profit because end of the day I'm accumulating more bitcoins and it will grow my bitcoins more and of course the profit as well anyways guys uh, Thank you for watching if you're watching from YouTube and now I'm gonna go with comments if you want to see more okay I'm gonna go with alts right now questions are answered and all these things you can keep watch the video anyways uh, let me just go to the comments Facebook is not showing me the comments I don't know why um, what I need to do is use my mobile for comments now that's the only option I see All right. Um, okay, I see comments now. Good day, brothers. Uh, is is trading view? Probably don't. I don't think so. Okay. So basically, there are not many comments. Um, the website is trading view. It says up there, trading view. And um, I gave a signal on 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 Ethereum as well. Uh, they had a hard fork, but I just found out they go is it go cancelled. And recently, I just bought um, at at this price, Ethereum at this price, at uh, just as the support. And just riding. I mean, I'm a, a one percent up. Uh, still waiting uh, to sell at least at 59, 50, 0 0.059 to make a around five. 12 13 percent or 15 percent profit actually um i will see i will see oh my stop is is gonna be very tight my stop loss is gonna be just here as soon as it breaks i'll be out because the thing is it was because of the hard fork it still have um time but it go cancel i just found out someone shared with me it go cancel like a while ago and when i found out i was i mean when i tried to buy and all those i was pretty late as well for that all right um so what we're seeing right now is <coughs> seems like everyone is sleeping okay people i used to have 60 70 80 90 uh, friends watching me but right now i only see around 20 of them actually that seems like it's pretty bad time because as i said it's 6 a.m already um there's not much of questions i want to share my strategy and i already did in like 10 minutes actually 10 or 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes um yeah what i was sharing is um yeah just both a uh, bitcoin cash as well a little bit uh, stop loss is going to be pretty tight because we're sitting as support and it's being it's haven't been moving much and uh, it's been stable so far we have a pretty good support here I mean a support we're buying here 
um, at max my stop loss is gonna be here but I would put below this the reason is we may touch this by breaking 100 MA it won't be that easy I mean it, it does have support here is is pretty good to be honest um, the loss will be around five actually ten percent so I don't want to get ten percent loss because the profit is if we break up here it will break 618 uh, fib level as well I just wanted to close up here in the cloud and if we close close in the cloud we can see a pretty good rally I mean um, I, I'm, I'm looking to sell at least here just before uh, 19 0 0.2 okay 1991971196 so that would give me around 10 10 to 15 percent so it's, it's not that bad actually okay I don't see any comment I don't know why um, let me just I only came online that late because it was a requested video otherwise I wouldn't have came online at six five five and a half a.m. Uh, power ledger big news 9 January uh, what do you think let me just check the power ledger Let me just. I can't. It's, Facebook is not showing me my uh, the comments, so that's why I need to use my mobile to see the comments. That's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, the port, all the uh, marijuana industry gonna is exploding, even the stock, because I was watching a video uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. Uh, the stocks are just going crazy. Okay, so I'm not buying it um, for a personal reason, but. It's up to you if you want to buy go ahead um they, they're pumping all of them if there's a dog there's few of them what's your throw expense uh what's your throw expense expense is a decent project i mean small decent project it is a fork of bitcoin it it pumps and yeah it, it <coughs> sorry it does a pretty good thing sometimes Okay, it's not losing a chart. Okay, it looks decent. It's just sitting at the um, few sports areas. Nothing huge or massive or nothing like that. It, it made a double top here. Made a double top. It doesn't looking the great, the best. But hey, what can I say? Tom will tell. So it's, it came to 11,000. Actually, 11,000. That's pretty high, actually. Um, anyways, why else is there? Um, I don't, I don't know. Seriously, um, let me see overall the big time frame because maybe it's making a yeah. So basically, what I can do is it is just going slowly. So after a correction, it's just moving. Is is one hour uh, daily cloud. So right now, this is the support thirty three hundred thirty four thousand. Sorry, thirty four thousand Satoshi is a support area. I want to show you guys one thing. A coin XBY that I believed on it, like it, it, it's old coin. Okay, it's is in a coin that I used to buy at these levels. My first buy was below hundred satoshi. My friend bought at four satoshi. Is sitting at two thousand seven hundred satoshi right now. He he made um a lot of gains when it was here. He sold it. He told me sell it. I wanted to hold long term. I bought at the start. I mean, at the start here, at um, 50, 50, 60 something satoshi here at this price. Uh, this coin is just exploring right now. It came below two hundred, like digibyte came here. But this coin is a good project. And uh, I watched a video today. It says this is the fastest coin. It does a ten thousand transaction per second more than any coin out there it's the fastest coin to do transaction and it has a smart contract it has a privacy it has a lot of things and the supply is way lower than any other coin out there and that the worst thing is and uh, i mean is is in bad exchange when it goes to binance it can explode like huge trust me this coin is being rebranding it rebranded three time or two time actually i'm not sure but 
I've been following this coin when it was here. I mean, you can see this chart is from July. Okay, you can see this draw, uh, line drawn. I haven't drawn now. This was a breakout that um, I missed. So actually, I missed this. <laughs> I didn't sell at seventeen hundred. You know, these lessons are learned, and I went at people to sell that sh coin, but they don't want to listen. What happened is I had this coin. Okay, hey. I didn't sell at 1700 I didn't sell at 1500 I, I, you know how much profit I was making my buying was below 300 Satoshi it went up to um, 1700 I was looking at it but I didn't sell because I was um, I was saying it's long term like people said these days the thing is coin needs to come down like this everything will like right now Ripple for example is doing this it will bounce it, it will come back bounce again and then slowly slowly like it always does Ripple, look at the deeper ripple history i mean nxt history um uh, various history look at all of three coins history you will know uh, what i'm talking about uh chris i uh, will the medical of course i will it's not um um let me check the power ledger Okay, let's check in Binance. Binance, they they added first. Actually, did they? Yeah. You know, I was going to buy at first here eh, ledger at the start. I saw in Binance. I said, um, I should buy. It was around thirty. Where is it? Okay, is in USDT. What? Did they add it after in Binance or before? Why is showing me oh BNB and you seen in BTC? My bad. Okay, basically why I did is <laughs> I saw it around here at this price. Um here at this price. Um I didn't buy it. Somewhere here it was. Um I knew is is going in Bitrix. It was already in Bitrix and uh, it was already had a pretty good pump. I said, um, I don't want to buy it. I didn't buy it. It had a lot of hype. See, I didn't buy it. And I had this breakout plan that I will buy the breakout. I missed. Uh, it was around here. Then I didn't, we never entered again. So this was again an opportunity. It, it just, there is so many opportunities in the market. We just miss it. From here, I could have bought and look at this rally I could have played. I mean, this is a lot. Um, right now ledger looks very good um, but uh, I just want to see it crossing here I just want it crossing uh, 6700 and close up here at 4 hour is 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 making lower lows um, and lower highs actually yeah sorry lower highs and it's looking good it's, it's been making good patterns if you see if you see it crossing this it, it can go very good like it can get a lot of volume because to cross it of course it needs a volume and if cross this uh, you can see a pretty good gain from there okay you can see a 20 30 percent gain and of course there is a next level this level crossing this we it can take you all time high the best thing is look at the fib levels we have fib levels here at this point the next target people um, don't know how to see what the next target is just use fib levels fibonacci levels are the best one to find out the targets because um, the past history does uh, move on the fib levels most most traders use fib levels for the targets um, I used to but uh, I, I don't know I'm being lazy the, um, after that so I'm not using much but I do use fib levels to see um, BTC and other targets but the crypto is like not everyone use these fib levels and all those things um, the reason is they look for numbers like 50,000, 100,000, like the old numbers. They look for like people will say 80, 80, 88, sorry, 8,000 is our next target. Some will say 9,000. So they look for number like this. That's what um, makes it different. The arts, trading arts is different. Is the way people think here and the targets are. And that's why I don't use the, uh, too many indicators for that. I just look for good support levels that's it and i sell every time we hit like 55 um numbers like this depends on the profit i'm looking for 
so that's what people look for mostly wise so here online so like a ripper right now just came before 20k it dumped okay so xvg just before 2k it dumped um nxt i think just before 15k uh, bitcoin just before 20k so n none of the indicator matters at that point because they don't look at those uh, indicators people buy when it's going high people don't look at the indicators those are the noobs that are buying on the top okay those are the noobs that are buying on the top no good trader will buy on the top so that's the thing these people are buying the hype traders at max they will buy here a short trade but they accumulate here like smart people the waves whoever you want to call it no one will buy there Chris thank you for showing that but still um, I don't really need to buy that you know I have still have a lot of options a few long time no see I catch you live yeah Mike th welcome to the live and thank you for being here uh, you didn't check I did check just now ledger okay so right now we are above the cloud that's bullish sign so if you're holding the stop loss if you're holding long term long term stop loss I would say this is the best level for stop loss around 5000 I mean long term no actually this is too much <laughs> um, but still if you have a stop loss here I mean it depends how what's your plans are what's the strategy if you're looking for um, a 50 percent gain of course you need to risk uh, 10 to 15 percent as well you know that's how it works is the all time high is hundred and um, 17k uh, sorry 11,000 for 700 satoshis so if you're looking for that you know what to do so it all depends on the risk and reward ratio the, the worst thing you know you know what's the problem with newbies is when when it's going down they just hold when it's going up they sell quickly the profit and loss ratio is, is just so bad and that's why they lose for example what new is gonna do is they wouldn't have stop loss even they have they won't sell it I mean uh, they normally don't have the stop loss even it goes down they won't sell it they'll stay in hope but when it's going up okay it can go up this much but they will just stop here like book profits when it comes to loss they want to book loss they want to keep keep it going keep it going that's the problem even you win 50% of the trade you still make profit if you have a stop loss well planned like my stop loss are uh, stop loss and profit ratios are way better the for example if I have to buy I will buy at uh, 67 6800 uh, or I will buy this breakout whatever it is whatever I will buy okay if I buy here what I will do is my stop loss will be here just before this support um, around 5% and my gain as I said it will be 20% here my profit will I will take profit so my profits are four times more even my uh, out of five trades even mines are too right I would be, I would be in profit or no loss at least so that's the difference between me and other traders and what profession traders do so the profit and loss ratios are very good that makes them stay profitable always okay that's the difference that's people uh, now everyone does notice those things and understand this you need to have a good plan and strategy but the thing is most people I see newbies they come and they hold in loss but when it comes to profit they book profit quickly I mean they have no strategy it's, it's just random buy it just gamble how, depends how big the profit is gonna be how lo uh, big the loss is gonna be and the losses are always a lot more than the profits because they already buy so high uh, they got in FOMO um, you're welcome Milan did you check out no I did not check out guys it's 6 a.m. here and uh, I would like to sleep after this um, um, if you have quick questions of course I would like to answer those um, Ada, Ada is just going viral. Uh, they have, um, they have update January. Okay, Ada is a uh, going on the last cycle. If we, if we consider this, now Ada still have a, uh, it still can go. 
is still going. So if we consider this, so of, for example, this is the fifth one. So if we come down here, like roughly this area, at least this area, okay, we can go up same amount. Like we can take this as a first leg. Okay, all depends. Uh, was, uh, it all depends which one is the first leg. <sighs> Give me a second. I think live is finished. No, it's not. Okay, so basically, with Ada is um, we can consider this a first leg, first wave, or we need to consider this as a first wave. It depends. Sometimes I've seen uh, what happens is that we see a first um, pump and then a accumulation area and consolidation and then we start with rarely like one two three four we can we can see a ending here with Ada but but we still have six five six days for the news um, I just found out today Ada having news of um, the roadmap update so if the roadmap updating we may still keep going or we may have a correction uh, for next few days and then move on so something like that will happen I'm not sure but there will be a huge correction after that trust me there will be a huge correction a Yota did so why not I um, Ada <laughs> I still regret it man I still regret it look I put Ada here man at, at this price 350 Satoshi oh my god we we are topping here okay listen uh, look at look at the indicators the the signs are sell sell sell. They are saying sell your order. We are all almost stopping here. Um, eighty. Yeah, they're saying to sell order. Um, we we can go here. Ripple went up ninety plus ninety plus RSI. So we will see that. I'm not sure how high because when there is a FOMO, um, no one knows. People people you know what they do when they are lost. They start to hold for long term. Okay, I'm doing one month. It didn't even have one month here. Okay. So the indicators are topping here, and this is not a good sign. Okay. Um, I you know what I would do I would I would book profit here, and uh, as you are not already profits, you can just rebuy here. You can rebuy around four thousand, and I'm pretty sure it will come around four thousand. It should because uh, the fourth uh, wave is always close to one I mean if we take fib levels um, from here to there actually from down to up so it doesn't matter it will be 50 it's it's around 50 or 618 something like that so it can come at least um, 4,000 yeah 4,000 area 4,000 nearly 4,000 around 4,000 I can dip and that will be a buy maybe okay let me show you the port port always moves so well port is just starting um, it seems like it's just starting because it's, it, it had an initial bump that we every coin does and then it, like accumulation and all those um, and then they there has been a big rally. I don't know why this chart is oh It had so many pump in the past. Look at this pump man. Seriously. They're making chart look so bad um, If if we cross this in in port this this can take a pretty high Then we already close enough because this is a resistance and I wouldn't buy um, still there is a space there is a space of 20% from here to this resistance well, well what we can see is a possible thing is we can go here and take 50% um, make a cup and the break of the cup uh, will be the same length of uh, this so we will see anyways but there, there is a good volume coming in um, this this was a someone bought uh, this big one because when they do accumulation they do buy that like this whenever there is a huge buy there is a quick dump because it's not proper it's just one ton buy that's why uh, the pump is so sudden and look at this this is 
this is just crazy bumps but right now um i saw twitter post okay they say first january is gonna be big from a marijuana industry so maybe um we can see a bump or well I, I don't know seriously i'm not following it i'm not sure what's gonna happen but looking at the chart this was the buy point like perfect buy point 2300 2400 um there's a risk because uh okay let me go four hour you see this this breakout this retest was the best point to buy um it broke the the cloud as well right now i don't know it's up to you because if you're buying here the stop loss should be at least here 2700 2000 yeah 2700 so at least your secure is not gonna hit because my stop loss hit so much because of btc being so volatile and uh, it makes us be volatile as well and my stop loss gets hit a lot so i need to put a higher stop loss <clears throat> like for example here so you have a large spread here like 20 percent that's that's not acceptable of course and you can target what you can do is you can have because if it needs to if it wants to go here then it won't come much so you can buy and set stop loss here at 2900 um, so you have 10 percent uh loss here but the gain of 20 percent so roughly two times of that and the volume is decent here and and everywhere i see on twitter and telegram there is a hype being created regarding these coins all dope pot and all these coins that are related to dope is a pump dump shit i mean they pump so much um they develop it themselves look at this look at this they're just just going crazy right now um anyways is there any comments that's it guys um um i really need to go and sleep this this is just going crazy it, it doesn't worth buying right now at this point this is just pump the hype of marijuana coins all of marijuana weed all these coins gonna pump so much this was a buy point i mean when you know this this was a buy point it can go it can go a lot i mean you know these coins always pump so much uh, it's so hard to predict what's gonna happen they have they haven't got anything go further than weed um and and all this marijuana stuff anyways our ethereum is doing pretty good all right it's pretty good if we break 56 100 we're gonna see a pretty nice scan so um, the stop loss was just two percent and we are already around um three to four percent profit so looking for at least 59 area if we hit that and it's gonna be 20 percent profit 15 percent actually so two percent loss 15 percent profit so i think it wasn't a bad deal and bitcoin is not looking good okay if you break this and bitcoin then it's not good i want you to sell there it just can't break there's a few fails i see it failed few times one here second here we went close and dumped again i mean of course they would be selling and then tested again twice failed and then it, it didn't even touch it so it came back so it shows there is not enough buying okay in low time frame this is not looking good i want to sell but i'm not sure what to do at this point <sighs> anyways guys um i think not many are interested right now no one's watching me i will see guys i'm not sure what to do at this point because btc from 50 ma we need to see a small small pump or something which is not happening and disappointing me all right um 
chill and sleep tight. Of course, I will sleep tight. Do you think BTC is gonna get, let me sleep tight? I mean, it's not looking good at all. So how can I just go and sleep? Okay, what well, what other thing we can see is we had a bounce from here. Just cancel this. So what other thing we can see is a bounce from here from uh, twelve thousand. Okay, so this is a very strong trend line. If you guys miss this. You can't underestimate this part okay this is a very strong uh, trend line you can't just miss this this red this is a very strong trend line I have so many support resistance here and low level let me just move this so much Anyways, so basically this this red line is a very good uh, strong support area as well. So I don't think so you should be ignoring this. And even this one at um, 10,000. These are very strong areas that we can't ignore. They will uh, have a support here, a bounce uh, from these ones. This red this one and this one we should see is uh have get is getting a support here by end of the day we did not uh move to bearish with this candle yet we still have uh, at the support we can still see a bounce uh, the way it's holding i've seen it just in twice we may see a still a chance of bounce at least hit up around 14,000 13,900 which my selling point is hopefully it gives enough time to um, gives enough time so I can go sleep and then in the morning I can just sell here anyways I'm not buying Sia um, I'm not really buying anything because it's just nah, not great things at this point see ya Sia fork is different as far as I know Sia fork is um, They're not giving coins for it. So there's no greed of that um, Coin that people buy by now it would have explored if there was a uh, something like that, you know All right, so yeah I'm I'm just waiting okay I'm not rushing anything to sell yet because we should hold this area this is 50 MA area where we get the support from 50 MA which is not like something easy to break and we have one fib level and second fib level at this point I mean end of the day is a lot of support breaking this is a as I said in my video disaster for us I mean we can see a pretty bad stuff after that so we should bounce at 11,000 we should touch again okay from here or there we need to touch again and test again this trend okay when we see it, this type of strong as uh, levels they do touch the um, the resistance again and we may see that but the thing is um, I will, I will, I'm not sure if I'm gonna miss it but I don't want you guys I don't want you guys to miss it um, anyways guys um, I'm so tired how about Z classic Z classic I already mentioned um, already you guys know about Z classic is being pumped so much I wanted to buy but it's so pumped look at this this is crazy numbers at daily daily is still pumping oh my god okay uh, this is just a fast lag and this seems like there's gonna be next lag as well this seems like we're gonna see a next lag what's going on this was a best buy here at 50 we may see a next lag
because it, it has a fork the fork is coming and they will give us with one ratio of the Bitcoin okay but having this they will give one to this I don't get it how they're gonna work out everything because they're giving the people that are holding ZCL they're giving um, to them as well and people that are holding uh, Bitcoin as well um, I'm not sure what their supply is gonna be well I don't get it <laughs> I just don't get it uh, but I will see uh, it just been going crazy right now and we can see a second leg okay second leg is gonna be huge uh, of course if the first one is huge second is gonna be huge and uh, I will enter I mean by tomorrow um, it, I don't wanna rush it you know so we will see what's gonna happen if we see it um, we'll see it anyways um, guys can you not let me sleep anyways guys thank you for being here thank you for watching me and uh, feel free to share this video there's only seven of you that's like <laughs> I haven't seen anyone okay three of you actually um, anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in next video bye alright so Let's start.